Hi guys, this is Saurav. In this video, we will learn how we can create chatbot app using MIT App Inventor. This chatbot app we are going to create for healthcare domain. Okay, so here we see the example first. Hello dear, how are you? I'm good. So, how can I help you today? I'm feeling sick today. Oh, so I should call to your family doctor. No, please don't call. Okay, so how can I help you with this? I have a cold. Okay, so, can I tell you some home remedies for cold? Yes, please, show me. Stay hydrated. Water, juice, clear broth or warm lemon water with honey helps loosen congestion and prevents dehydration. Display hospital nearby me. Right, so you will get the uh, hospital nearby you also. So, she will do everything. Okay, now if you want to go back so just click on this start button so that's the overall app we will create so here we go so we are using your mit app inventor to create this app so click on start new project and my project name is chatbot 007 7 is my lucky number that's why i'm always use 7 7 and 7 okay now that's my first screen Okay, so we will use here one web viewer because App Inventor doesn't support animated image directly. So that's why we have to use your web viewer to display our animated image. So we need here one animated image and one simple image to display our robot. Here you can see uh, I have uh, one GIF image, this one. Okay, and there's one more image, is PNG image. Okay, so whenever this robot is not speaking, Okay, this Ali is not speaking. My robot name is Ali. Okay, so if she is not speaking, then we have to display simple PNG image. If she is speaking something, so we have to display this one image. You can see she is speaking. Look like okay. Now we have to upload both image here. Don't worry, I will give you the all uh, files and AIA file also in my website. I will upload it and I will give the link in description. Okay, so click on upload file. Click on choose file and let me just upload GIF image. Okay. Then click on upload file again, choose file and we have to upload your PNG image. Okay. Now, most of the people getting error in this web viewer whenever they try to display or their local document image like this one doc.gif or doc.png in this web viewer, they will get the not found error. Okay. Because uh, recently App Inventor changed this uh, URL. So that's why you are facing this problem. So let me show you that's simple and easy right now you have to just type here file okay column and then slash for slash then app inventor okay i will give you this code uh, this line also in description so you will not get error or you will you will not confuse then underscore then e double s e asset slash your assets uh, name like doc in the initial stage, we have to display doc.png. Okay, like this. Now, uh, that's fine. That's all. Now, we need one image. Actually, sometimes uh, our robot will stop. So, to resume our conversation, to our restore our conversation, we should use uh, this button also. Okay. So, let me just make it with this fill parent. And you can see it start. Something like that button or you can make it 20 you can change this color also like i'm to make it orange make it font bold and change this web viewer uh, click on web viewer make it ignore ssl error click on this screen and change this background color to black this one is black fine now that's the our robot now we need your in the left side you will find the media option click on it and you will find text to speech and we need here a speech recognizer but if i use this one speech recognizer so this will display the google dialog box okay so i don't want this so that's why i'm going to use here another one that one is without dialog okay so i will give you this link also in the description okay and most of the video uh, we we have used this one extension okay so here you will find aix file download this file go to the app inventor Click on this extension option, click on import extension and upload this extension here. Okay, and then import it. Now drag and drop this extension like this and then now go to the block section. 
so whenever our screen will initialize okay so click on screen you can see whenever a screen will initialize then we will call your text to speech call and whenever we open our app so the ali will say like hello dear hello dear how are you how can i help you today okay like this or or you can say simply you just you don't need to uh, how can i help you today in the second step okay hello dear how are you this is fine as you wish okay now now we have to check uh, this click on speech recognizer and you will see after getting text okay so now we have to call getting text this speech recognizer so click on text to speech and you will see after speaking so whenever she says something then we have to respond it means whenever she says something after speaking after speaking we have to call this speech recognizer for getting the text from the user okay then and now what we can do here whenever whenever she speaks something then we have to call uh, here we have to change web viewer url because we have to use two images one is static and one is dynamic like one is gif animated and second one is png so here you find the set home url option call not uh, you can call this one here also after getting the text okay so after getting text we will set this web viewer url to text is something here this one and then i'm going to go to the design click on web viewer copy this url from here go to the blog and just paste this url like this so i have to change it to gif because that's my gif image let me show you this in a in this portion like zoom right files app inventors asset dot gif fine okay now now we have to check all these uh, input okay what user really want and what the user say so for that we have to use your offer getting tags we have to use a condition control and if uh, okay so if click on this logic option and you'll find this equal sign drag and drop it here okay and the result if if i say suppose say hello i'm good okay so just copy paste this text from here at, uh, i'm good okay if someone say i'm good okay and you can say i am good then we have to uh, we have to just use a call here call text to speech simple then oh that's good uh, or something like okay so how may i help you okay and then suppose someone say that uh, use here else if like this and copy paste this one here okay i have a cold okay and then the result is something if someone say i have a cold then we have to change this here and then we can reply something show i should call to your family doctor okay so gone so like you have to do a lot of here like just use your else if else if and else if and just add your question you can make it uh, like a large library like that okay you can put any questions here okay now uh, i already have actually this one in a backpack click on this backpack actually i have stored this uh, from in here this one actually i have created this the whole okay so i'm going to delete actually this one old one from here actually it's take a lot of time and you know that actually you know everything like how you can do this simply okay like you have to just use if else if else and if else okay there's nothing uh worry about this you can see in the last if someone say remove this if c don't understand something in the else part so we will search it like suppose if i just say please uh, show me the uh, nearby hospital okay so there is no question related to this here you can see please don't call or something i am feeling sick there are a lot of question but there is no question related to nearby hospital so what she can do she will search that thing on google you got my point like 
in the as part we will search the query okay if she will not found anything so we just we will not say like i don't understand i don't understand we will not put this message we will simply put like we will display that phrase or this text in the google so you will get the result in google also simple okay so that's the overall code and i think there is nothing actually this one is really pretty simple and very easy you just need to put else if else if and else if and nothing okay you don't need to worry anything and there are a lot of thing you can do like go to the design and you can see in a, i have i got one error here in the viewer like uh, in the coach in the number so here you can see in the media option you will find that one that one social phone call just drag and drop this here go to the block and phone call and call make a call so whenever see uh, whenever you say like yes please call to my family doctor and if ali will get this result then see will okay calling and then we have to put this make a call now go to the design and you can see make a call you will just put 1 2 3 4 5 6 eight, whatever number you want to put here see will call and that number okay so that's the very simple and overall app and i will give you the link in the description don't worry let me just uh click on project export select this project aia file okay and i'm going to upload my aia file and all assets in my website okay so that my website name is simply the coding info in this website i will upload my this app aia file okay so you will get this aia file just import this file okay and then modify this app according to your requirement okay so let me know if you have some doubt you can ask me in comment and please don't forget to subscribe my channel like this video and share this video have a nice day be safe bye bye <laughs>